Ladies and gentlemen, I am Cleese McFarlane, and this is my buddy Kevin from the KSR Performance YouTube channel. And today, and I guess tomorrow too, we're gonna be doing laps for 24 hours straight in this race car. So we are dialed in, we got fresh tires, a full tank of fuel. All we gotta figure out is who's going first. Ah, here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, you're done, bud. <laughs> All right, bro. Uh, we don't know how long these, you know, stints are gonna last, but we're gonna change off every time this car needs fuel. And it can go for a long time in one tank of gas. So, Kevin, you're up. Okay, so here we go. We got a storm. Storm's coming. We're racing rain or shine, yeah. too. We can't predict the weather for the next 24 hours straight, so we're just gonna race through whatever comes our way. Kevin, are you ready, brother? I guess. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right. Yeah, here we go. Go rip it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> what were we thinking? We got about 23 hours, 59 minutes. <laughs> Uh, first minute down, dude. Woo! <laughs> Look at the rain. We don't, we don't know that the car is gonna make it, but we do think it will. You know, I'm confident. Crown Vic, best car ever made. <laughs> the weather, bud, you're in. Yeah, the weather's three. not great either. <laughs> Kevin, how are you feeling? You're, you're one minute in, buddy. It's, uh, this is gonna be a long 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> he says it's gonna be a long night. <laughs> I mean, literally, he's gonna be doing that for the next, I would guesstimate two and a half hours before it runs out of fuel. It's uh, definitely skipping the front end a little bit. Yeah, don't worry about that, Kevin. A little shake in the front end never hurt anybody. Guys, we're 37 laps in and it's pouring rain. Well, Kevin's letting it eat, man, in this rain. We gotta take advantage of this rain, though, and do some donuts real quick. Oh, he's pretty fast. <laughs> this thing's sliding, dude. There's no way I'm catching him. He's getting out there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> one gear on it, pour it. <laughs> hey, Kevin! <laughs> it is pouring rain now, but Kevin's going strong, boys. We're 75 laps down. Everything's going great. It's raining! This is sketchy! What were we thinking? It's really raining! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy, it's raining pretty good. You're 80 laps in. <laughs> You've been going for 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> What's the fuel gauge at? He's losing control while he's talking to us. Said he's five eighths of a tank already. All right, guys, it's been an hour. I think Kevin's getting a little tired, so we're gonna throw a tire out in front of him. You know, make sure he's on his feet. Oh! <laughs> well, guys, as you see, our next challenge awaits. We've got a big storm moving in. It is definitely gonna get rowdy. Kevin was throwing down laps at an impressive rate. A big storm was on its way into the Freedom Factory. But luckily, these Nitto tires can run on dry or wet pretty dang good. Dude, he's at lap 238. Dude, I guessed 150. Woo! All right, just started raining. Kevin's about to pit. Let's go! <laughs> Locked and loaded, boys. Good job, buddy. You did about 250 laps. Holy crap. Nice work, Kevin! <laughs> go, 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 go. All right, let's go to work, baby. Let's go to work. Woo! It's hurricaning! Ew. Absolute Florida man conditions. Oh yeah. They call me Jim Cantori of the racetracks. Let's go! All right, we got the racetrack lighting up. There you go. It's coming down. <laughs> Ain't slowing him down, still running 21.5. Give you guys an idea of what I'm dealing with right now. It is freaking pouring. It is coming down, but we're ripping, boy. I lost my walkie-talkie. I have no idea what lap I'm on, but I'm drifting this thing. And I'm having a blast. Oh, brother. It's 
real flush out here. Look how cool that looks. We race rain or shine around here. It's wet. So how did the car feel when you were out there earlier? Is it loose at all or did it seem like yep. it took it like normal? If it had better uh, front shocks on it, we'd be able to go even faster. It's raining sideways, lightning, you name it. You notice he's going for a higher line. The next hour of laps went incredibly smooth. Although it was raining, it was kind of nice for me because it kept the tires nice and cool, kept the car cool. But right when I was getting to 400 laps, just before disaster struck and our car was in trouble. We got a nice trail of ATF here, brother. Get the transponder swamped. Keep getting it. All right, go ahead. Go, 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 go. go. on into the night and as the sun went down it got really nice out and then another failure my ball joint was toast oh crap i just broke a ball joint brother Woo! you're clear Run let her in buddy right back out Woo! all right lap 522 we're back in action i gotta admit i am absolutely exhausted from that stint not having the containment seat to be able to rest your head all the weight lies in your neck which is what kevin's dealing with right now and it is brutal so right now dave and zach are trying to swap the transmission into our car that has the containment seat and then we just got to cross our fingers that puppy lasts because i don't know if we'll make it without having a containment seat it was brutal i'm not gonna lie might be my giraffe neck, I don't know, but I was dying. Kevin seems to be ripping though, he's 20 laps in. How we looking, boys? Not good. Not good when you have the air hammer out. Yeah. Well, we're gonna pull this trans out, guys, and put a freshie in. Yeah, brother, we are officially under 20 hours. 19 to go. Funny part about all this is Kevin and I discussed doing a pretty moderate pace so we didn't kill the tires on the car, but we quickly realized that it was so boring if you didn't race the car really fast the entire time you're out there that it was almost unbearable as a driver. Kevin was crushing it though. He's putting down laps and he stayed out there for as long as he could. All right, Kevin just pulled off. I'm taking off in another car. Two hours, baby, come on. All right, guys, I just finished a stint. Zach jumped in, he's doing one now. We got the original car back. We're 935 laps in, so I'm doing pretty good. Sam, what do you think, buddy? About to cross a thousand laps. Great. It's going to be lots of laps yeah. this evening and tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening is done. Yeah, we'll hit a thousand laps in the next half hour. Woo. Well, guys, just woke up from a little nap. Kevin is on lap 1320. There he goes, still uh, going strong. Not even halfway there yet. We're about eight and a half hours in. 
Kevin's getting ready to finish this stint. We're getting there, boys. All right, we got Kevin coming off the track now. Got old Cleeter coming out in the original car now. We got a new power steering pump on it. She's ready to go. Getting the transponder swap. You ready for this? I'm <laughs> born ready, brother. At least you got the good seat. I got a containment seat. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling it. Are we feeling it now? <laughs> Holy crap, I'm too old for this. <laughs> you got it. You got this. Woo! <laughs> oh, my lower back is hurting so bad. <laughs> I just lost power steering after about 250 laps. So the OG car is down again. All right, brother, let her up. Let's get it. Do your thing, you're good. I think we're halfway, right? Yeah. Are we have, oh, we're 4 a.m. Two hours. Two hours from halfway. We're about to cross the 2,000 lap threshold. Whew. We're killing it. Zach went out on this 4 a.m. shift and knocked out 289 laps, which was the longest stint yet. Zach pulled off the track at 1,941 laps and exactly 12 hours to go, and Kevin was back up. All right, lap number 2,000. There it is. 2,000 laps down, only uh, 12 hours to go. It was nice and cool for this. Today's going to be different. Oh yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. At this point, we were starting to regain some confidence. Yes, we went through some Crown Vicks through the night, but we were feeling good. We had just passed 2,000 laps. We were past the 12 hour mark, so now we're seeing the end of the tunnel and the sun was rising. We're finally getting that energy back and it's time to knock out these next 12 hours. All right guys, we just did our changeover. It's about seven in the morning. We got EV George driver's seat now. Pulled up in his Tesla that drove itself so he could drive a Crown Vic for two hours around the track. Alright, let's get it, buddy. Hold it together. That's a nice line. That's a nice line. I like what I'm seeing. Cleeter, what are you doing? You gotta get up. Cleeter, wake up. Brother. <laughs> Dude, come on. Been racing all night. Yeah, you gotta get out on the track, dude. You're behind. Am I up? Yeah, you're up. Damn. <laughs> Felt like I just drove five minutes ago. You drove the sunrise shift, huh? Yeah. How'd it go? It's painful. Yeah. We made it. Who's in there? Did someone make it to help us out? Yeah, George actually got his Tesla to drive him here to drive wow, a bunch of laps. Wow, we got LS, EV George out <laughs> here. Holy cow, how's Kevin? Is he alive? Uh, he's sleeping. See in rough shape. Yeah, he needs a nap after the last drive he had. Dude, I'm gonna be honest, we're in way over our heads on this deal. Like, we thought this was gonna be a eh, challenge. We're all dying. It's so hot. Like, I bought a new shirt and I'm already sweating just being alive in Florida. Oh, yeah. Hey, let's take Leroy Jr. out here and go Leroy chase Jr. down George. Got my boy Leroy Jr. If you guys didn't know, we're giving this car away. Every five bucks spent on and com gets you in for a chance to win this or an Ariel Adam. We got fresh I mean, tomatoes on this too. C5 is the best car ever made. <laughs> How you doing out there, buddy? I'm ready for the All right, well, dude, since George is fired up, we should give him every other stint. Oh, George! And see if he'll be see if he'll be ready for 500 after that. <laughs> dude, he came in thinking he was Dale Earnhardt himself today. <laughs> Easy, George. All right, guys, going in for stint number. I don't know, 20, <laughs> maybe. Zach's trying to bail. 
Zach, are you going home, dude? Dude, I didn't say I was leaving. He said he was leaving. There, he said he was leaving. Now he's. I think I got another 300 in me. Uh, I gotta go beat your lap time. Zach has the fastest lap time right now. Uh, I think Kevin went a 19.9. I went like a 19.97. Or I went a 19.95. This guy goes at 1973 or something, right? Yeah, see, they're all worn I out mean, now. What the tired. hell? They ain't getting it. Yeah, it's getting hot. It's going to be like 98 by the middle of the day. Nice so. and humid yeah, with the wind around. All right, so we got Cleeter staged up, about to go out for a fresh stink, coming off a nap. We got old LS George coming off the track. Dude, you only did about 84 laps. No, I did a lot. How many? 84. 300? I said, I'm trying to get the lap record. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, there. good luck, bud. All right, go, 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 go. Almost at the 16th hour of the 24 hours of Crown Victoria. <laughs> wheeling number four car. That's how you even out your tire. Yeah, he's just uh, going for the, the even tread work. All right, this is the first tire pop yet. I was running a hard pace. Trying to beat my lap time. Did I get close? You beat me. Oh, you smoked me. You're done. Don't go yet. Go, 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 go. All right, you got some strategic planning in here. Big bucket, what you got there? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave those there. Dad didn't throw the football with me. Oh, dude, did it just break it? It just took the windshield away, bro. <laughs> you just shattered the windshield. With the water bottle? Yes! Yeah, they broke my window! I got Cleeter coming off the track hot. We're about 16 and a half hours in, about 2,600 and something laps down. I'm cooked. <laughs> Look at the window. Yeah, a water balloon did that, dude. Well, it turns out when you're going 70. <laughs> I didn't see anything hit it. The water balloon had direct contact to that white the window, if you guys can see the uh, water balloon one. All right, we're gonna get this thing turned back around. Zach's gonna get in it. Dude, these harnesses are so nice. Dude, this car is the greatest. All right, brother. <laughs> Good to go? Kevin, you're alive. Oh, dude. You look stiff, brother. My neck's a little sore. <laughs> a little bit sore. Well, listen, they got that car that I was just driving dialed in. Yeah. That's one of the containment seats, so I think we'll be good for the rest of the rib. Nice. So guys, we had some rain come through, and Zach was really good. He's trying to beat my lap time record. I got a 1968. Honestly, I think that's the fastest lap time I've ever done here. That car is ripping. But the track's cooling off, and I think he's about to put down some really good time. So I got a little something I want to distract him with, you know, keep him on his toes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Keep him from Little getting that good lap time, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So you just hang here. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. All right. You won't miss me. Oh! I found a distraction. We got a, we got a cub flying around the racetrack. We got a cub flying around the racetrack. Look at this guy just flying around. <laughs> no way! Coming in for a landing. Oh, <laughs> this guy's crazy. No freaking way! What the world? He just landed the cub behind me! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! Oh, a little smoke screen! A little smoke screen! <laughs> oh, dude! Better get going! Here comes Zach. Oh my gosh. He's insane. <laughs> oh, he's smoking it out. Oh 
boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Definitely oh, threw off his lap time. <laughs> Dude, we got smoked out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Got some racing, some flying. Oh, we got a storm coming in, boys. I'm not gonna lie, that thing is flying. This guy is just on another level right now. He's just dying to be out there on the track, dude. Just can't get enough of it. Dude. How are convicts so fast? I don't know. <laughs> I, I have no idea. It's amazing. All right, it's Zach's just, almost done with his stint, so. Kevin suited. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Hey, bud, how you feeling? Good. Uh, had some better laps. Yeah. yeah. He definitely, definitely didn't beat my record. Oh yeah, blame it on the rain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, did you see that airplane out there while you're making laps? Dude, he touched down right behind me. It was insane. <laughs> that smoke was definitely worse than tire smoke. Yeah. I could not see a thing. <laughs> Kevin's making some pretty good lap times. He's done. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> the old slip on the banana peel. <laughs> He's gonna spin out for sure. Uh, what? Almost. I know. Tell me Mario Kart's a more. lie, dude? No, 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 no. You need more bananas. <laughs> Ripper real. Hey, buddy. What's Hi. up? What's going on? How are you? You know, delivery. Bashful boy. Hi, nice bib. You got some milk? What's going on here, man? We got to grill out? I'm getting a little hungry, you know. I figured it's yeah. like a beach day. And we can kind of no no let the scent get to Kevin. I know he hasn't had lunch, so we'll let it, you know, kind of drift into his car. There we go. That actually worked. You got her lit. Oh. <laughs> Bud? I got a surprise for you boys. When I went to the store, what'd you get? Some, some popsicles. Oh, these are the best. Exactly. Yeah, oh, dude, we gotta get one of these, to Kevin. <laughs> Watch him stop. I want grape. <laughs> Here we go. Here's a popsicle, bud. Oh, get going. <laughs> ah, let's go. <laughs> We're not wasting any time here. We got a front right blown. No way. We're five laps from 3,000. Kevin just blew a tire on lap 2,995. Oh. So he's going to be right back out. They're putting their front right on it right now. Yes! Oh, the air out on the <laughs> hill. Let's go. Kevin, buddy, you just completed the 3,000th lap. <laughs> there it goes. Let's go. All right, guys, now that we passed our 3,000th lap, I figured it's time to tell you that today's video is sponsored by ourselves because we have a brand new thing here at the Freedom Factory. You're probably wondering, what are these Crown Vicks sitting out in the middle of the track? Well, we've got something super exciting to share with you. Let's roll it. Oh, it is going door to door. The checkered flag. You guys know we love Crown Vicks, and the Freedom Factory has just become the home of Crown Vicks across the country. Well, we've always wanted a way for you guys to come out here and experience the same things we do. So we've come up with the idea of letting you guys drive our Crown Vix. And that is why we are extremely excited to announce the Cletus McFarland driving experience here at the Freedom Factory. It took us a few years to get to this point where we could have a driving experience for you, but I know a lot of you come in town and vacation in Florida and you come by the Freedom Factory, but we don't have much to offer if we don't have an event. You can come here and drive one of our Crown Vicks that's specifically designated to the Cleese McFarland driving experience, far nicer than our normal racing Crown Vicks. You show up to the Freedom Factory, you get a tour, you get a special experience, you get some training, and you get 20 laps out here on the Freedom Factory, or more if you really want. So 
We've got some really cool cars. Right over here, we got a neighbor replica. We've got Donnie over here, Crown Vic number two. My favorite, you know, my Crown Vic race car. Actually, hold on, that's not my favorite. This is my favorite. We have a Mullet Crown Vic, copied after our boy Mullet, the El Camino, but just a little bit less horsepower. And then last but not least, we have Toast, the Crown Vic. So you can come here, choose which Crown Vic you wanna drive. And after going on a ride along with our instructor, getting some safety equipment from Racequip, you get to jump in a car and do 20 laps out on the track by yourself, and you can let it rip, brother. That's what the Cleves from Farland Driving Experience is all about. Once you guys come out here, really experience what we get to do when we jump in these Crown Vicks and put on a show for you. And we just released our first couple of dates for the Cleese McFarland Driving Experience, and you can check all that out on cleesemcfarland.com and get signed up. They're gonna go fast. We don't have a ton of dates open yet because what we wanna do is have a few groups out, do the experience, and then get feedback from them to make it better and better. And then we'll have plenty more dates throughout the year, and especially like Lay Mullets, we're gonna have a bunch of dates leading up to that week. So if you're coming in town for the big event that weekend, some of you guys who get in town early, you can come here and drive some Crown Vicks before the weekend's festivities begin. The long-term goal is to be able to bring these cars out to other tracks that we do events at too, but we're just getting our feet wet by doing the Cleves McFarland driving experience right here at our very own home, the Freedom Factory. Golly. So after a little bit of training and obviously putting some safety equipment on that we've got from Racequip, you're gonna go out in a Crown Vic exactly the way we would race it. It's got a roll cage, it's got five-point harnesses, it's got NATO tires. These Crown Vicks and their V8s actually get down pretty good. You guys are gonna have a blast. Boys and girls, get right on the apex. Get signed up and please come out and enjoy our cars. Don't beat on them as hard as I do, though. I, I would really appreciate that. But I want you guys to have fun and experience the Freedom Factory for everything that it is and get to do exactly what we do out here. I know that it took us a while to get to this point, but I'm really excited and I hope it is just a awesome experience for all of you who get to do it. But uh, I'm gonna go do some more laps basically like go-karting on steroids. You guys are gonna love it. All right, guys, you know the deal. You go over to cleesmcfrawling.com, find out all the information you need to know about the Cleese McFarland driving experience. Kevin is sailing into the 3000s. I'm up next. We're just grilling out right now. Oh man, five and a half hours left. We're excited to get this one done. All right, whatever is on the grill, <laughs> so whatever's on the grill smells delicious. We got the grill drifting downwind right into turn three. Needs to pit. Uh, no. Now you're gonna have to pit later. We're eating ice cream. Yes, easy. You're done, Kevin. There he is. You're done, buddy. You made it. Mr. 3000. Way to go, bud. Mr. 3000 pulling up. Oh, yeah, I like it. That was the best dent I think I had the whole trip. Hot, hot, hot. Hot play, hot play, hot play. Man, this car has just been ripping. All right. Oh! oh. 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 Golly! Unbelievable, man. At this point, boys, I was feeling good. I was throwing down laps on this car. We are finally so close, just about four hours to go, and our mission will be complete. All right, guys, 20 hours in. We are 20 hours in, only four hours left. Jackson, how many laps 20, we got? 20 hours, three minutes in. We are on lap 3,235. 3,235 laps Four around the Freedom go. Factory. Woo. All right, just did a long one. We got three hours to go. Go, go, go. Pit crew, pit crew. Same Crown Vic, running like a top. Hey, it's all yours, bud. All right, bud, I'm ready. Suck in, dude. <laughs> all right. 
Here we go. Tighten up. It's cool, see it's working. Three hours he's got. Well, he's gonna probably burn off two of them and then I'll do the last hour. Oh, good thing he had his uh, Bane suit on. How many laps are we at? We're three hours and 20 minutes to go. Yeah. We're 3,339 laps in. All right, guys, we officially passed 3,500 laps. Woo! George has gotta be worn out. He's been ripping for a while, but we're doing good. Well, with only a couple hours to go, George is in the rain. Thank goodness for this toter home. <laughs> he got a little loose there a minute ago. Georgie, can you hear me? Probably hey, I'm good. Hey, brother, we're down to two hours to go. <laughs> Guys, George has done 300 freaking laps. The guy is on a rip. You've officially done more laps in one stint than anyone else in this whole thing. Great work. George has done the most laps in one stint. <laughs> 300 laps of ripping, brother. Here you go, bud. Do oh, something, thanks, brother. Buddy. That's what pushed me through. <laughs> Guys, we are 3,615 laps in, and we have an hour and 15 minutes left. 3,600 laps. That is crazy. There he goes. All right, guys, we're officially on the last hour. George has been going hard. I mean, he's here he probably comes. coming up on almost 400 laps on his own just in one cent. Dude, this guy's got to be exhausted. He's I mean, he ran ready. the longest stint of the 24 hours by a long shot. You good, dude? <laughs> he can't even get up. Good, yeah, he's shaking, dude. <laughs> All right. Yeah, dude. Hey, good thing your car drives you home. <laughs> I'm a little wet. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. Got it from here. <laughs> the fuel. I knocked the fuel system. The inertia switch. What happened, Jack Stan? So you yeah, put it in got the wall? a little sporty dude hitting the wall hard. I hear trying Not to break the inertia records. switch, you know, and <laughs> lost all throttle. You too much. But well, she's back now. She's back. <laughs> Let's see if she's back. Oh, she's back, baby. She's rubbing a little bit. We're not gonna worry about it though. must have went through a breakup because he took out some anger on that car just now. The last 10 minutes Whew. of the 24 hour stint, we are at 3,827 laps. 3,800. <laughs> That's insane, man. So we're that crowd Vic is here. doing it. Can we give him a check of flag finish when he hits the 24 hour mark. You know, he sees us all walking down here. He's just like, it's getting it's closer. Getting close. <laughs> it's getting getting close. Close. it's almost know. over. Have a few laps <laughs> this is big. Last lap. Four. Three, two, two one. Three, eight, eight. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, sir. What a long 3, 24 hours. 3,856 left. Man, dude.
Big shout out to Kevin, KSR Performance, doing some driving, George, <laughs> with the longest stint. Freaking Jackson helping out Dave, changing transmissions. Yeah, Dave. <laughs> freaking putting in some stints, too. All these guys helped out today, so show everybody. Best team in the world, dude. Oh, yeah. That's how it goes. You know what? I texted Kevin about this last week, and he's just like, yeah, I'm in. And we're like, yeah, we can do it just us two. Not a chance, dude. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> no chance. All right. Well, guys, check out the Cleese McFarland driving experience if you want to sign up for that. That was the inspiration for today's video is just to show you how much fun you can have in one of these. What's the final lap count? 3,856 laps. 3,856 laps. We don't have a driving experience set up for that yet, but I'm thinking about setting up a thing where anyone else who wants to try this challenge here at the Freedom Factory can come do it because I'd love to see someone get 4,000 laps in 24 hours. That would be a task, but phew, that's awesome. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, new for now. We'll freaking see you later. Yeah. Yeah.